welcome to my channel if you haven't noticed that this video is a little bit different um i wanted to kind of talk to you guys about pause i just love doing that well anyway so guys um i wanted to pause the video mainly because um this video is definitely going to be pretty long but i wanted to be able to share every little detail so if you don't have insurance this video is definitely for you and if you do have insurance this video is for you so i hope you guys enjoy the video things that i'm going through um especially when it comes to my skin okay um, since the end of January, my face has been like breaking out like really, really, really bad. Um, and I had an allergic reaction to a foundation, which was L'Oreal Infallible, which sucks because that, I swear that damn on foundation <sighs> is everything, but I can't use it. It definitely broke me out to the point where I developed dermatitis. If you don't know what dermatitis is, it's basically a really bad bacteria infection underneath your skin. Um, it's almost like a rash like, um, symptom when you kind of have bumps that kind of form in clusters and they itch like crazy so that's what happened to me of course uh, I went from clear skin finally it took me forever to get my face to be clear to having almost just about severe acne so I kind of wanted to share my story with you guys and be um, open with um, something that I'm experiencing and I am kind of feel some type of way about it not to the point where um it's like i don't want to go to work and things like that but it does kind of suck because i do work around skin every single day and people are always up in my face and i'm always in their face so sometimes it's kind of discouraging because i'm like all in the, all you know all in their business and they're in my business so it kind of um i feel like it's kind of hard for people to take me seriously because my face is breaking out like crazy but anyway so I hope that this video helps you guys and I hope you guys enjoy my journey to clear skin let's get started okay at first when I start first started breaking out I was like you know what I'm just going to take matters into my own hands and I'm going to figure out how to get this done and how to get this fixed and things like that but it was just crazy because like the bumps just kept getting worse and worse and worse and they were itching so bad i'm like what, like what can i do and i hate going to the dermatologist because i just feel like all they do is look at you and prescribe you stuff like they don't even they don't even barely touch your skin all they do is just look at you and say oh well you know what i'm gonna prescribe you blah 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 and keep it moving you know i i just i don't know i'm very iffy about that and then as far as getting on Accutane, I'm not going to lie. I thought about it and um, I'm still kind of thinking about it because basically like I go through spurts. Like I literally won't have, won't have one bump on my face to having a million bumps on my face. And sometimes because it happens so quickly and because it happens so drastically, sometimes it's hard for me to cope with because I'm like, well, wait a second. My face was just... Here. I had not one bump. Really? Y'all hear that? I'm not even sure what that is. Sorry about the noise. Um, but I literally would have not one bump on my skin, and then all of a sudden I'll have all these bumps. So it's just, I'm just tired. I'm just really tired. I'm annoyed, and I'm really just tired of, ex of experiencing this. And um, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about it because. Not one, do I like being open on my channel, but two, I kind of want to explain to you guys that's why I haven't been making um, makeup videos because my face is so sensitive right now that I don't really want to put anything on it and it sucks that I have to wear makeup every single day to work because I work in that industry and I feel like it's hard for my skin to get clear. So... What I decided to do, I made a doctor's appointment, but um, since my insurance is basically, I have to reach my deductible so before I can get any um, coverage for going to the doctors and getting prescriptions. So I'm like, okay, so I have to think of, all, of an alternative because I don't want to pay 100, $150 to $200 going to the dermatologist and then turn around and pay Three hundred to seven hundred dollars for some medicine. Okay, now no, no, I don't have time for that. So again, until I reach my deductible, and I think my deductible is like thirteen hundred or something like that. Those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, and if you're on your parents' insurance, 
kudos to you but unfortunately i'm not so i'm explaining this to people that may be that may have something similar or don't have insurance at all so what i decided to do is go to yoderm which is basically an online dermatologist and what i did was for 59 dollars no matter if you have insurance or not you basically just go on here take pictures of your skin and send it to the dermatologist in your area and they will prescribe you medicine and that's what i decided to do and they also help you um find medications that are still brand named and not generic um, named and also they um help you find something at a discounted price um or from ordering it or getting it from the manufacturer and they did an awesome job so if you don't have insurance or if you do have insurance and you kind of just don't want to wait three months to go to a dermatologist your derm is definitely a plus for that for sure um but yeah oh i had to pause the video you guys didn't even tell me my lips were like super dry so i had to put some lip on okay Now that's a little better. Now, so I went to Yoderm and um, Yoderm is basically, like I said, it's an online dermatologist. Now, they're only like in Pennsylvania, Florida, California. Um, I don't know. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can click it if you're interested. And um, I'll also leave my discount code down at the bottom so that way you guys can get $20 off or I think it's $10 off, something like that. And no, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. But I do, when you refer people, it's one of those things where you get money off. So I am re like referring all of my subbies if you are interested or even if you have acne. Um, so yes, um, so basically I was prescribed Axone, which is a um, tropical formula, it's 5%, and I was also prescribed um, Tazerac. This is something that I use at night, which Tazerac is a form of Retin-A. And then Axone is a Dapzone gel. And I'm not really sure what this consists consist of, but um, consisted of. Did I not say this right? It sounds weird when it's like leaving the tongue. But anyway, um, but yes, yeah, so um, I really like this because this one doesn't really um, dry out my skin too much. But this one does. Well, I don't know. This one doesn't cause me to shed, but the 1% does. I didn't get this. I actually just ordered this online. I'll leave a link down um, below from Terra, Terra Skincare in California. So if you can't even get to a dermatologist at all and you kind of want to use like a Retin-A or anything like that at your own um, use or your own, um, you know, just putting that out there, I'll leave that down below. So sometimes I kind of go back and forth depending on the potency of it. Um, but yeah, I also cleanse my face with the Cetaphil cleanser um, only because it's not really that harsh. And I'm using the one for normal to oily skin because I have oily skin. So I probably should have got acne brown skin. But anyway, and then as recommended by the dermatologist, she told me to grab the oil control moisturizer and it has a SPF of 30 which I kind of like it because it doesn't really have a strong scent in SPF and I hate the smell of SPF I think it stinks so this one doesn't really smell so I actually really like this now when you're on Retin-A when you're on like a Retin-A um, medicine you tend to peel so I'm actually using Peter Thomas Ross peeling gel exfoliant I really really like this um, Basically, I'll kind of massage this on my face first when I first wake up from um, in the morning. That way, because because of the retin-A, I have all this dead skin on my face. So I use this first and get all the dead skin off, and then I'll like continue to wash my face and do my regular regimen, and then I put my makeup on. So then that way, it's not as flaky, but my makeup still looks flaky. I'm just like, oh well, I just have to deal with it and um, appreciate it. I'm also taking doxycycline pills as well. I'm taking a hundred and no, well, I'm taking a, the brand name of doxycycline, which is called Acticlate. Um, I'm taking 150 milligrams of that. Now I'm only on, I think my first, I'm actually on my first week on it. Um, 
what I'm going on my tomorrow will be my first week on it and so far honestly when you first start doc doxycycline because I was on doxycycline before but on a lower dosage um, because I had dermatitis before and basically what it does is it literally pushes out everything from your skin and then after that um, it kind of heals from there but normally it takes about three to six months before it even starts working depending on the dosage and depending on your body some people experience um, a big difference in their skin sooner than that um, but me it's more, mainly around that two month mark when I actually start noticing things and again I am going to be doing a journey so you'll see my skin change hopefully dramatically but we'll see and if not my sister girl is going to just go on Accutane and just call it a day but I'm also drinking about a gallon of water a day mainly because well I, I always drink water anyway but I just kind of up the dosage of drinking water to about a gallon a day I'm also eventually I think starting at the end of this week, I am no dairy, which I don't really eat dairy because I'm kind of lactose intolerant, but I mean, I do eat stuff that has cheese on it and things like that. So I'm going to be cutting dairy out of my diet completely. And I'm also considering going on a gluten-free diet as well, just to see, because the only thing about taking all these medicines is that I'm not really trying to put so much chemicals in my body so i'm trying to fig also figure out a way where i can keep this clear for a long time without taking a med medication but i am taking dox oh, acticlate which is a form of doxycycline which is an antibiotic if you're unfamiliar about it um, i'm taking that um once a day now i do take it with a meal some people can take it on an empty stomach however i tried that guys and when i was on doxycycline before i literally literally was like throwing up like within five minutes that's how strong it is so um which is kind of scary because it's like wait should i be taking this medicine if it's making me do that but hey listen if it's gonna clear my skin i will take as many meds as you want me to take i'm just saying at least i'm being honest because this right here i can't take it i just can't i'm over it so I decided that once I get clear skin, I'm going to continue to drink water and cut gluten and also cut dairy out of my diet. But this, I'm just kind of look, this is kind of just like an introduction for you guys. But I am going to be starting taking um, these hair, skin, and nail pearls, which are by um, Finest Nutrition. Now, I know you guys are probably saying, wait, is she trying to grow her hair? No. So the reason why I'm taking these pills is because majority of the pills are good for acne. Like vitamin A, you're supposed to take two a day. And vitamin A, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but Accutane is made out of vitamin A. Now, it's a derivative from vitamin A, which also means that it's not a synthetic type of vitamin A, but it's more healthy for you. But the dosage I would be taking with this is 10,000 um, international units, which is I use, which means that um, I'm getting the right amount, but I'm not going over the the toxic, toxicity level. Am I saying that right? Toxicity level that is, um, that's not approved by the FDA. So it's really healthy and it kind of gets rid of all the toxins in your body. As far as zinc, B1, B2, B3, and B6 vitamins, vitamin E, and also um, B5 and zinc, all these things, this vitamin, these, this particular vitamin, I'm not saying all hair and nails vitamins will actually help clear your skin, but this one would definitely do that. So once I get done to, um, taking my doxycycline, which is probably like four or three months from now, I just got it because it was my to get one free. <laughs> so that's why I did that. But I um, actually had started taking it before I started my doxycycline. And I did notice a difference in my skin. I'm not even going to lie. Um, but I am going to transition to this um, and just basically take these for the rest of my life. At least it's just a vitamin because I don't want to stay on doxycycline. But if I do notice that I'm starting to break out, even if I cut dairy out, I cut gluten out and all these things out. And I don't notice a difference in my skin. I'm just going to say forget it and just go on Accutane. Um, but yeah. So I'm just going to show you guys, sorry I noticed this video might be a little bit boring, typical from my little goofy self, but um, it's just so much information that I'm trying to tell you guys. And I'm going to do a close up on my skin, so then that way you guys can see the crazy horror I'm going through and you can kind of see hopefully my success story um, 
Later down the road.